Here we go for another Battle of Alberta Classic, with the two teams separated by just two points right next to each other in the standings. Never mind that we're 30th and 31st in the league. Man, the only thing colder than the weather for this game is the two teams playing in it. Wait, McDavid's back? I mean, sure, we're still two terrible teams on a national stage, but at least everyone still gets to watch McDavid now. Oh, good, McDavid's back playing. I, for one, would have been perfectly happy if he needed to miss one more game before coming back, but nope, here he is. Oh, wow, not one, but two flyovers at a hockey game? You gotta love it. Now, hopefully that's not the most entertaining part about this game. Okay, seriously guys, what are we even doing out there? At least Markstrom's playing well, but unfortunately, it seems like he's the only one that realizes the game started six minutes ago. Go, Kulak, let's go! Oh look, an Edmonton scored. Who could have seen that coming? I mean, seriously, eight shots against already? What's Markstrom supposed to do out there? Okay, we're off to a pretty good start. Now let's just try not to do anything stupid. Yep, just like that. Dang it, Kane. Well, at least now that we have a power play, maybe we can actually get a shot on goal. Oh, come on. Does it really count as playing it with a broken stick if he misses the puck entirely? Wait, Dreisaitl's headed to the box too? All right, I mean, sure, it was a terrible start, but now we've got a minute and a half of five on three, so we'll tie things up, and then, I mean, it's a fresh start from that point. Or not. Whoo, man, what a kill. Oh, turnover, Dreisaitl, Hyman, scores! Two nothing! Holy crap, do we suck. I mean, I knew it was bad, but wow. All right, a two goal lead. Now we just need two or three more and I'll start to feel good about where we're at. In the meantime, please don't do anything stupid. Or I guess just send them right back to another power play. Well, at least another power play means they won't score on us again for another two minutes, probably. And then Nurse goes and punches a guy twice in the face right in front of the official. Oh boy. Really? Another minute and a half of five on three? They really are trying to keep us in this game, aren't they? That being said, if we don't score on this one, I'm just turning this crap off. Wait a minute, are we actually going to kill off another long five on three? Oh. Nope. And there it is! Oh, thank you, Kadri. <laughs> thank you, Oilers, for keeping us in this. Bouchard shoots, scores! All right, back to a two-goal lead. And of course, we just go and give it right back. Fantastic. Look, I know his stats don't look fantastic, but Markstrom's the only reason we're even in this game at this point. I don't like that I still don't know how to feel about this game. On the one hand, we're out shooting them 22 to seven halfway through, but on the other hand, it's just a two goal lead and we keep giving them power plays. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? We score! What a play by Uyghur, back to within one, and Markstrom with the secondary assist. And there you go. I mean, are we trying to lose this game? Seriously, they've barely been in our end of the ice at five on five, and yet here we are in a one goal game. Well, it did take until five minutes left in the second period, but at least we finally decided to start playing the game at five on five, and it's still just a one goal game. I mean, I would complain, but yeah, somehow Nickelback does seem like the perfect choice for a live intermission performance for this mess of a game. Look at this photograph, every time I do it makes me laugh. Okay, I don't care if we deserve to win this game or not, and we certainly don't based on how we've played so far, but we just need to get one and then anything can happen from there. Shot, tip, Kane scores! Okay, four to two, there's no way we can blow this now, right? I hate Evander Kane so much. And there he is again. I mean, seriously, how many of our players is he going to try to hurt this game? Oh, come on. How is that a penalty? <sighs> Man, I know if they score on this power play, they're going to find a way to win it. Yep, that was probably our last chance. But on the bright side, at least the scorers did take that goal away from Kane and gave it to someone else. And Evander Kane with the empty netter to seal the win. Why? Why did I have to say something? Hooray, win number two on the season. Now we're just third to last in the league. Tied for third to last with this Flames team. Well, it's good to know at least if we're gonna be bad, we can still beat Calgary. Man, oh man. I thought last season was frustrating. It's gonna be a long season. <laughs> wow, this division is bad.
I'm sorry, these are the teams that people think are gonna pass us? Yeah, we're making the playoffs for sure. Hold on just a minute. A game with a team wearing blue who struggles to keep a multi-goal lead that's called by John Forslund and Eddie Olchek. Are you sure this wasn't a Kraken game? If you had told me coming into the season that eight games in, we were going to have a three-point lead on the Oilers and Flames, there is no way I would have believed you. I might have believed you if you told me we were going to have three points, period. But I'm not going to complain. Ha! Fools! Now we already have a two-game lead on the best odds for the first pick. <sighs> Can we please skip to July? 